Hi, I'm Marlies Koenen and welcome to Glory Technique of the Week. Hi everybody, my name is Martijn de Jong and I will teach you some different kinds of jabs today. Today I brought uh, Robin from Rosemalen, he's the Glory Lightweight Superstar and he's going to help me demonstrate the techniques. So first we're going to start with the boxing jab. Stance is a little bit low, it's a little bit sideways. Cover your chin with your shoulder on one side and with your hand on the other side and it goes fast up. <laughs> Boom, this is one. So the jab comes from low and comes straight up. Boom. This is a fast jab and usually we use it to measure the distance. A little bit deeper, the feet are a little bit turned, the knees are a little bit more turned in. So you're here, so the jab here comes naturally from down here to up here. Boom. You see? So the boxing jab, you hit a little bit with the upper part of the knuckles. So it comes from here and it moves up. So, boom. This is the way you hit it. So this part of the knuckles. For boxing it's good, it's fast, but for kickboxing it's dangerous because somebody can attack you with a, with a low kick. They kick your leg really easy and then the, for kickboxing it's not good. So for kickboxing a little bit more up here, a little bit more this way and you can just give the jab like that. Boom! You step in and you step back again. So he's on time, if I want to uh, give him a low kick, he's on time to block it. So boom, block, boom, block. So a little bit more straight here, but it goes fast as well. You measure the distance, it's a fast jab. You hit him with the front of the knuckles. You can jab, jab, you can make a double jab. You can just go and move away, keep the guy busy and measure the distance at the same time. For MMA, the distance is even bigger. So I'm, because I can try and take him down, so the distance is a little bit further away. I'm here, he's lower. And he's a little bit more frontal. So when he goes in, he, come, he goes out right away as well. He punches, boom, and goes back. You see, so I have no time to take him down or to kick him or to punch him. So the distance is bigger. So we're here with boxing, we're here with kickboxing, and we're here with MMA. So he punches, boom, see, and he's gone again. So the third one is one that comes from up to straight, straight under the defense. It's more like an uppercut jab. It comes from here, the thumb is up. It goes fast, boom, from under to up. One more, boom. When somebody has a, has a defense like this, he's up, up here, so it's a little bit open from the, from the inside. So it comes up from, boom. It's not an uppercut, it's, it's not really a jab, but it's right in between. So it comes, boom, boom. You hit him with, when your thumb is up, your thumb is pointing upwards, boom. Comes right in, comes right through, so when I'm here, Boom. It comes right through. One more. Boom. So, poof. Peter Arts used this a lot to keep somebody in distance, and especially when somebody has a good defense, it comes right through. It's not a knockout punch, but it's just to measure the distance and at the same time create an opening. Poof. Poof. It comes right from, from, from here underneath to his chin, straight to his chin with his thumb up. So now we can use the front hand as well, the lead hand to stop somebody moving in. Somebody's attacking and he's gonna stop me. So I have a little bit bigger distance, I come forward and boom, he stops me here. So I'm here and boom, he stops me here. It's a really powerful jab and you can even knock somebody out with it because I'm moving forward, he comes a little bit forward and it's like a straight train crash. <laughs> You're here, boom, boom. It's when I move in, you turn your thumb a little bit more down. So here, so because somebody's rushing in, he can attack you as well. So when you turn the, the thumb down, you protect yourself a little bit more. You're automatically, when you turn the thumb down, your chin is behind your shoulder. Look, when I punch like this, or I turn the thumb down. See, the shoulder comes up, so you protect yourself a little bit more. You're all covered up here when somebody moves in and trying to attack you. So we do it again, I move forward, he stays there, and as soon as I'm close, he throws the, the, the straight hard jab. So when I'm here, boom. You see, and he's all covered up. One more. So four kinds of jabs today.
<laughs> so guys, train hard and see you next week for a new technique.